this video, you will see how to set up your preferences for the civil engineer role. First of all, you can optimize your navigation by setting gravitational effects. You can also specify an altitude to follow. In modeling, I always prefer to have the values of my parameters displayed in the tree. You can pick your units for normal and large range. Both could be in meters or feet. Just a few words about ranges. In 3D experience, you have different ranges of design. Normal range is usually for components that needs to be fairly accurate. It goes from an accuracy of 1 micrometer till 1 kilometer. Large range is what we usually use for linear projects. It can go till 100 kilometers, but is a little less accurate with 0.1 millimeter. Finally, extra large range is dedicated to very large terrain and alignments. It should not be used for detailed design. You can combine ranges in your work breakdown structure as long as the parent has a range bigger or equal to its children. Keep link with selected objects allow you to do contextual design that can morph when changes occur. It is always useful to see constraints, parameters, and relations in your tree. You can set up the default range for your design. Large range is usually set as default for linear projects. In 3D modeling, multidiscipline engineering, you will have access to the specific options for civil engineering apps, such as terrain preparation. As an example, you will be able to improve a lot your performances with meshes or terrain, activating the light visualization of meshes mode and the optimized mode. In new content, if you expand all the objects, you will have the capability to set attributes for all types. This is really useful in AC. When you will create an object, you will have access to its attributes, such as renaming, range definition, and you will be also capable to define if you want to create an assembly node in your work breakdown structure or part containing 3D geometry.